Hello, Sagittarius. It looks like getting some much-needed fresh air comes with it a slew of realizations. Let's dig in to see where this goes. Hello, everyone. Welcome in. This is a Sagittarius Tarot reading. It is a general reading usually between two energies. Let's dig in to see what sort of theme we have for you today. I can't let a third of the deck fall out to be the theme. You guys got to narrow it down for me, like to two cards. Two cards. There, there it is. Two cards. <laughs> okay. Well, if we're jumping out at it, then fine. <laughs> Who else got these? It might have been Scorpio? You saw me shuffle. You saw me shuffle. Okay. Time for a quantum leap, number seven. Prepare for a makeover. Number 47, celebrate the sacred gap. Reduce to an 11, number of mastery. Give thanks for buffer time. Very much universal energy catalyst kind of thing happening here. This one? Okay. Hmm. The, okay, got it. Um, this is, this is a Sag who's gotten themselves to the precipice of change that cannot be avoided. Cannot be avoided. It's so heavily backed by the universe. If, even if you try to step off path now, spirit wouldn't let you. It's going to push you right over. Show me what's going on with Sag, please. Show me what's going on with Sag. Hmm. Again, with the whole, I understand y'all want to talk. <laughs> One card at a time. I know. Starting over. Got it. Okay. <laughs> Let's get, get into this. All right. Ace of Swords. Truth is being revealed. Getting some major clarity. Okay. Chariot card of Cancer. Strength card of Leo. Seven of Swords. Hangman. Moon, card of Pisces, Eight of Wands, Devil, card of Capricorn. Okay. Hmm. I'm going to read this set as you said. This is the person you're connected with. This is the situation. Mm hmm. Mm hmm. So, Devil next to the Moon, next to the Seven of Swords is no bueno it is is no bueno this is borderline sinister mm -hmm. i feel like there's two people on this side because this side is you this is who you're connected with. This is the situation. But I feel like there's that these three cards are two people. So the realizations that are coming through are about not just okay. This this is gonna be a deep one. Okay, <laughs> I'm preparing myself too. <laughs> Um, okay, uh, <laughs> okay, you're getting big paradigm shifting realizations about two people from your, it looks like more like past overlapping in the present, okay, um, sorry while I retie my hair, um, where it seems that the hurdles in one connection are a bit of like the struggle with one connection was more toxic from the get-go and the struggle with the other connection the more recent one is you actually contributing toxicity to it does that mean you weren't doing that in the previous connection not necessarily the person you most recently split from has a bone to pick with you because of what you brought to connection with them. 
it's not something that they're ready to call you up and tell you off about or scream at you or anything like that. But if you were to seek them out, that could possibly happen. That could possibly happen. Because this de this devil is coming up as a, as a separate person. Okay. Or separate entity. Or separate entity. Okay. Um, that's interesting. That That's really interesting. Because some readers read as strength conquering the devil. And that could be what it is that you're realizing here. But there, there's... We'll get into this. Okay. So there's at least two people or a person and an entity. <laughs> Didn't think it was going to be a weird read, but here we are. Hmm. Got it. So seeing the truth on the situation with the soul bond that actually did make you quite happy that you were about to, you didn't put your whole heart into. And you see, and you see what that did to connection with them and what it did to them. Let's get into the chariot, please, as the situation details on the chariot. Five of Cups, Ace of Swords, Seven of Cups, Star Card of Aquarius, Judgment. Mm. For someone, this realization is starting to sink in as you... If you're a type of... Um, a a low-cost adventurer, like you like road trips for example, camping, hiking, things like that. There's there's something where you are going along, driving along. Because mm -hmm. this almost feels like camping under the stars kind of thing. Like the more you connect with your natural world, the more realizations you receive. Which is going to be true for most people when you get outside fresh air kind of thing um this is something that you do that's bringing in more realizations that's healing any confusion and sadness and leaving the real the truth the golden nuggets of truth because and you're not going to be able to deny these at all um like if you if you know you receive the truth that you contributed the toxicity to connection with this person, blah blah blah, you can't turn around and go, "Well, they did." did it. No, uh, 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 uh. We're talking about you. <laughs> All of our individual journeys are about us, one person. They're about one person, and that is always who is to blame first. Okay, so in this. It looks like you've got a series of epiphanies here. Hangman, Ace of Swords, Judgment. Along with some healing catalyst there too. Okay, so this this, this is a good thing. But this, this person doesn't seem vocal in your experience. Um, like you, you guys aren't together anymore. Show me the Strength card of Leo here for Sag. Wheel of Fortune, Page of Wands. Six of Swords. Okay, there's some active reparenting that needs to occur. Active reparenting. This is something that some of you may learn actually through parenting your own kids. Um, page of Wands. Um, there's something there in that child playfulness that makes your energy less rigid. So you can receive divine truths. Because if you're rigid and you try to receive divine truth, it could just bounce off of you. Because of all of your programming that you have and all your triggers that you have, they form like a barrier to being receptive to divine realizations. But when you're in a more playful energy, more joyful, more joyful, more loving, it puts you that much closer to the divine, vibrating at that level that you can receive those truths and actually integrate them. Okay. Okay. Hangman. Show me the hangman, please. Nine of Wands, Death, Justice, Card of Libra, Two of Swords underneath. Death Card of Scorpio. Got it. That that's like the nail on the head. It's the realization that your resistance to this 
in resisting contributing full heart is what led to its end. This is this justice is coming up as karmic, karmic justice for this person. Okay. Show me the eight of wands. The eight of wands, please. Strong desire to reconnect and heal. And restart with someone who feels like home. Lover's card of Gemini right there in the middle. And if this feminine is coming across you as the masculine, this is the feminine. If this feminine has a kid of her own, there's something here where it's like they also get along with your kids. Okay. Um, there's a healing conversation that you want to have with this person that would hopefully, that would hopefully tee you up for a redo. Okay. That would hopefully tee you up for a redo. That That's the desire anyway. Okay. Let's get into the side. Start with the Seven of Swords, please. Four of Cups, the Moon again. Five of Cups. Yeesh, five of swords. Damn. Heavy on the sadness and disappointment there. Oh, okay. There, there were, okay. This person really felt alone in the relationship with you. And not that you weren't there. Right? Not that you weren't physically there, but that they were in it for different reasons. So there, there was no alignment of, of reasons to be in it. This disconnect felt like a defeat. Hmm. There's, there's some of them where it took like four or five months in order to digest the crux of the parts of this they couldn't figure out, the parts that kept them sad. Okay. They did come out on the other side of that, though. They did. But for some, it's looking at it took four to five months. Show me the moon, please. Knight of coins, ten of coins. This person told themselves all kinds of reasons why you weren't all in or why you're taking so long to be all in because it really was unknown to them so they would make excuses for you not necessarily to other people but to themselves in order to settle their own anxiety which actually built more in the end strength card of leo fool ten of coins knight of coins moon card of pisces still looking forward to the future of having a ten of coins with you Willing to take the risk, willing to put in the time, all those kinds of things. But it looks like they had to end up shouldering most of it. Okay. This 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 made them... What's the word trying to come through? Well, yeah, angry. But there's a more encompassing one. It all, it also, yeah, it also made them tired. So when the end came, it was like, fine. Fine. Show me the devil, please. Show me the devil. Ah. So part of what this devil is, okay, um, this feminine views this devil as the rinse and repeat cycle of dating. Like it continues to be a shitty experience for me here. I'm going to have to go out by myself to start all over again. Find peace within myself before starting again. Only for a manipulative cycle. Got it. A cycle that takes advantage of me. Comes up again. 
And it will if you choose it. It will if you choose it. If you ask early on in going on a date with someone or beginning the dating process, if you ask spirit before you meet the per- this person or even after the first date and you you could say it as a prayer or you could say it to your reflection in the bathroom mirror like you're talking to an angel on the other side of the mirror and you say, please show me the truth of this person within the next week of all, show me all I need to know within the next week about this person. There it goes. You can't deny the red flags when they're shown to you, though. So if the person ghosts you, falls off the planet, if they turn around and ask for some text and the request is for something physical and you're not there yet, if it's asking for money, if it's it's like, there it is. You asked, you received. Okay. This is one of those situations. It does work. Try it. Be really clear on your request. Be very, very clear and give it a time limit. Otherwise, spirit will take forever to show you what you need to know because spirit has forever and you don't in this body. Right? So you're getting realizations and now as a result want to reconnect. This person went through the hurdles of healing and have a bad taste in their mouth about dating altogether. Okay, is there anything else we need to know before going forward? This person's going to have someone new come in. King of Wands, Queen of Wands, that's counterpart energy. Mm -hmm. If this is you... You're also putting an understanding on how much of you has to change in the physical world in order to make this feasible because you can't go into this, go towards this person with just like one or two things fixed. You can't, you just can't with, with this, she is used to dating, not being a good thing. So for her to jump back in with an ex when, you know, the moon, the devil, and the seven of swords came out with that, that's not really, that's not an incentive. That's, that's not an incentive. So some, this transformation and realizations coming in, you need to let it hit you like a truck and let it drag you for like 20 miles because you can't be the same person getting up, dusting yourself off after that. Right. Okay. I'm going to head over to the extended. I'm going to see what's going on with her in her current energy, her near future, and the final outcome of the connection between you two in this lifetime. So if you are interested in any of that information, along with messages from Spirit about the connection at this point in time, messages between you, as well as timing, Feel free to follow me by clicking the link in the description box below. And I'll see you guys over there. Bye. Ooh.